Hello everyone, this is Uni, and I'm going to be teaching you how to downgrade your Tab S7. Um, Samsung recently released an update to their tablets, uh, and what it does is it allows Samsung to add a predetermined cap in the refresh rate of certain games and certain apps. So even though most browsers like YouTube, Br uh, Brave, uh, Chrome, and uh, Samsung Internet, they're all still at 120 hertz if you have the setting on for adapted refresh rate. Uh, when you go into a game, Samsung uh, sets all of their games' refresh rates to 60, meaning your tablet can only run at 60 hertz maximum whenever you run a game. This is very uh, harmful to people who have been used to the 120 hertz refresh rate, people who play maybe COD Mobile, Fortnite, or other games that allow more than 60 FPS are hurt by this because now they are limited to 60 FPS. So if you want to go back to this, I will be showing you how to do that today. Um, requirements for it, you uh, you need first a USB cable that allows you to charge your Samsung tablet, um, a laptop or PC, this works with Mac as well, um, and your Tab S7 obviously. Um, if you don't have a laptop or any computer of any sort, I'm working on a solution for that right now. I'll let you know if I find anything, but as of now, there is no determined way to uh, fix it with just your tablet alone. So with that being said, let's get started. First what you're going to do, you're going to go onto your laptop or computer and you're going to type in samfw.com. This is the firmware site for uh, Samsung. It has all their past updates and allows you to um, download all of the past updates uh, Samsung has done on any of their devices. Uh, including the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. So then what we're going to do, and you'll see the search bar at the top, it says enter device name or model code. Uh, what you're going to do, you're going to type in your tablet's model code. Um, you do that by going to your settings, then you go to down to about tablet, then you go into software information on the tablet, and then under service provider software information, there should be two lines. The top line it should have uh, a string of numbers and letters um, and then the bottom one should be like two uh, two sets of three letters um, so we're gonna first look at the top uh, there should be a couple letters um, then an underscore and then SM dash and then something um, this is your model code um, and those that is what you put into the search bar so for me it is SM dash T 870 um, for some people, I think it's 875. Um, so you're just going to type that into the search bar. And then your thing should pop up. Mine is Galaxy Tab 7 Wi Fi. You can also do this by looking at, um, by just typing in Galaxy Tab S7. That should also work. But you do have to still go in and check to see, make sure what model number is, because you don't want to install uh, the wrong. Uh, stuff for the different device so we're gonna go into mine um, then when you scroll down uh, it should have a bunch of different regions uh, these are just a bunch of different area codes for where uh, the software of the tablet is manufactured or what region uh, people are using it in that specific type of tablet so under where you found your model code for your tablet there should be a region code as well it should be three letters like all the ones up here uh, mine is XAR for the United States. Um, if you're in Russia, it's going to be SER. If you're in Canada, it's going to be XAC and so on and so forth. Uh, so you're just going to click on whatever your region code is. It's different for everyone. And then once you click that, this should load up. It should be um, a, a window with all different, uh, different updates from the past. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to click one from, I'd say, about five or six months previous to now. Uh, I think the one that worked best for me was uh, May 1st, 2021. So you're going to click on that uh, version, and then while it, it should load. And then what you're going to do, um, it, this is the firmware you want to download for your tab that allows it to downgrade back to what it was before. Um, so what you're going to do, you're going to download on website. And remember, this download is going to take a, a very long time um, because it's a um, 
it's basically just re resetting your whole tablet back it's like factory resetting it back to um what it was before so while this is happening what you're going to want to do is you want to go onto your tablet and you're going to want to back up everything um if you have any old files that you want to keep you want to make sure that you um save them on like google drive or something like that something that you can access again um because it's literally the same thing as factory resetting your tablet you're also going to want to go into your settings um search backup in the settings search bar and then go to backup data and then you're just going to want to back up your device um, that just makes it so like the layout of your tab is the exact same as well and if you have any custom apps or anything they should stay I'm not 100% sure of that but I'm pretty sure that means they will um, what's most important is that all of the apps that you had beforehand will still be back on it um, and it should be pretty seamless uh, another thing I want to uh, mention while this is downloading is that we will also be downloading one more thing um, it's called Odin uh, but I will show you what that is once this finishes downloading. Okay, so now when you finish downloading it in your download, you should see a uh, zip file uh, called samsw.com down uh, and then whatever the thing is called for your tablet um, and then from here what we're gonna do is uh, first you're gonna unzip it so you can ex first you're gonna extract the zip file and however way you do this you can do this through 7-zip or WinRAR whatever um, but whatever you have um, you're gonna have to um, unzip the file uh, so you get the folder onto your computer. Once again, don't be don't be surprised if this takes a bit of time. Uh, one of the files is super big uh, because it is essentially the firmware for your entire tab. Um, so um, if it takes a while, just that's expected. Um, don't worry about it. Okay, so now you should have a folder with um, the Samsung firmware. Um, there should be an AP file, a BL file, a CSC file, and a home CSC file, um, as well as like a text document for uh, SamFW. You don't need this. Uh, you don't need that document. What we are focused on is AP, BL, CSC, and the home CSC. Um, so next, what we're going to do? Go to the link in the description I sent. Um, it's going to have in 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 the description there's a link to um, the thing you need to actually transfer to your tab it's called Odin so you're gonna click that link and it should take you to this website right here from here uh, you're just going to click this button right here download Odin uh, onto your computer uh, what this does this allows you to transfer files to your Samsung tablet uh, mainly used for firmware obviously which is why we are using it um, I'm pretty sure you can transfer other files as well, but it is mainly used for firmware. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Alright, so once you finish downloading it and extracting it again like you did previously, you should be left with a folder like this. Um, you're going to go into that folder, and it should have um, four different things. You're going to click on the application Odin uh, 3 version 3.14.4. Four. Okay, so once you have that open, uh, what you're going to want to do is now you're going to want to get onto your tab. Um, this is the last warning if you want to save anything on your tab. Um, make sure you have uh, everything backed up. Make sure you go into your tab. Make sure you obviously go down to backup and back it up. 
um, if you have any files uh, make sure you save those into anything that into anything you can come back to because this fully factory this this process factory resets your tab essentially into an older version so basically you're gonna lose all your files and if you don't have anything back up you're gonna lose all your apps as well um, so yeah make sure you have everything backed up make sure you have everything saved in secure locations so that once you do this you can get back to where you were um, I know for Fortnite players you're worried about your HUD don't worry about your HUD your HUD is saved onto your account so you're not gonna lose that um, this is mainly for uh, other files you have outside the game so now what we're going to do um, we're going to first plug in our tab of 7 using the thing you use to charge it you're gonna plug that in to your tab and then plug the other side of it into your computer um, it should say added right here on Odin like it just popped up there and then what you're gonna do on your tab you're gonna power it off and then you're gonna turn this thing on called download mode and how you do that is you go to the side of your tablet and you're gonna hold down the volume keys Odin should say removed as it's shutting down but then it should um then this blue screen should pop up let me uh, adjust the camera settings so you can see what's on it better okay so you should be able to see um, a screen that uh, a little warning screen um, don't need to do anything on it. all you need to do is press the volume up and that will put you in download mode and then once again Odin should say added again after it's said removed so now your tablets in download mode and you're ready to start the process okay so from here what you're going to do is once you're fully in download mode everything should be like this you're gonna open up where you have your SAMFW files and as you see on the right side of the Odin uh, screen there are a bunch of uh, different slots for you to be able to drag and drop uh, different files um, all you need is um, three of them the BL uh, AP and CSC so you're gonna drag in first drag in the BL drag that into here after a second it should show up here it'll show the file name and then a, a little check mark saying it, it imported into Odin successfully you're gonna do this again with CSC it's gonna wait and this one imports successfully as well and then lastly you're gonna do it with AP um, CSC and AP take a bit more time so that's why I was waiting for that one to finish but once again you're just going to drag it into the AP slot and you're just gonna wait okay so now that all three are there these are the only three you need you don't need home uh, CSC um what you're gonna do um make sure your tab is connected down here um this is where you're gonna press start um before I press it just letting you know this is going to factory reset your whole tab so from here, you're gonna lose all the stuff you backed up, everything, um, or you're gonna not lose what you backed up, but uh, it's gonna factory set as if it was a completely new tab. And if you wanna get anything that back, make sure you've had everything backed up by now. Um, this is the last warning, cause now we are actually doing the factory reset. So you're gonna press start, and it's gonna start working. You're going to see uh, over here, everything it's doing, as well as um, some outputs here uh, you can completely ignore that um, but on your tab you're gonna see a little progress bar at the bottom it's kinda hard to show you I just turned my tab around so just imagine this but flip it's gonna be at the very bottom um, while it is downgrading to an older firmware so we're gonna let this sit while it does that you can see the progress bar at the bottom right here faintly on my screen um, as well as a green progress bar up here and that is everything it's going through so just wait for that to finish okay so now it should finish it should say pass um, 
in Odin and then you should see down here my tablet is restarting so yeah my tab is now restarting um it should say in Odin all threads completed succeed one failed zero and then it should say added one more time because it should have just reconnected itself back to your computer as it's rebooting itself so now we can unplug it from our thing we can unplug it from our computer and now we're gonna full focus on what's on the tablet itself this is just me going through uh, the factory reset process um, that's all you have to do here Lastly, what you're going to do, go down to um, software update and turn off auto download over Wi-Fi. Um, the last thing you want to do is to do it again. Um, but in the case that it does happen again, um, make sure that you still have all the stuff um, you used. Um, just so that you don't have to reinstall everything again. Um, once you download everything, you don't have to do anything ever again. Um, and you should be good on that. Once you've done all that, you can uh, just go back to what you were doing on your tab. Just make sure you restore all your backed up data. Um, and then uh, this is me proving that the method does end up working and you do get your FPS back in Fortnite. So as you can see, my HUD is still here. Um, give creative time. So I can show you. I think it's the new update. Yeah. As you can see here, oh, it's set on 30 FPS. Oh, I have to go back out and fix it, but um, it should have worked if I did everything correctly. Um, it presets your settings already, so I forgot you have to go back and do display settings for Fortnite at least. I don't know if you do fit, if you have to do the same for other games, but I know you do have to do that for Fortnite. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, I think that should be good. Um, I think that's all I need to do. What was my sense set up? Yeah, it is. All right. So, um, as you can see, my refresh rate of my screen is here right now. It's always been 60 in the lobby, in case you hadn't known that. Um, it just does that to save uh, um, battery. But as you can see now, it is at 96, which is what it was before the update. Uh, that's what it should be at uh, for Fortnite because it maxes out at 90 FPS. So it should be back to normal now. Um, if it isn't, feel free to ask me anything. Uh, you might have messed up on Twitter. Um, my my Twitter is UniTM. Um, just feel free to ask me anything if you have any questions. But other than that, it should have worked. Um, yeah, I hope this helped you out. Um, once again, I'm looking for a solution that doesn't require a laptop. Once I get that, I'll let you know. But other than that, that's it. Uh, Thank you for watching. Hope I helped you out in some way. Uh, and uh, have a great day.